Welcome to the Ambient Tutorials. In this video, we'll show you how to sync up an ARIA Alexa with an external timecode generator. Before we get started, let's take a brief look at the required gear. Of course, you'll need an ARIA Alexa, a timecode capable audio recorder with built in locket circuitry or an external locket. You will need a locket device and a TCIO cable. Let's get started with setting up the Alexa camera for external synchronization. Press FPS to change the sensor rate of your project time base. Otherwise, your project frame rate might not be available further along in the setup process. Now enter the timecode menu by pressing the dedicated TC button. The next step is to adjust the project time base. To do so, go to the project menu, then project frame rate, and adjust. To adjust the Alexa to read external timecode, go to the TC menu, choose Options, and then change the timecode source to External LTC. Just below, we need to change the mode to Free Run, and then finish the camera portion of the setup by changing the generator to Regen. Only then will the Alexa continuously read the incoming timecode. Now the Alexa is all set up and waiting for our generator, so let's move on and set up the locket box. When you start an ambient locket from factory default, it will always boot unjammed in internal timecode mode with sync switched off. So the first thing we should decide is the running mode of the locket. Internal timecode is used if you just want to jam sync the lockets without ACN. Continuous jam or C jam is used if you want to use the ACN for zero drift wireless synchronization and TRX is used for wireless record run timecode setups. We want to use the C-Jam being the most convenient and accurate mode. Now we'll go to the timecode menu and choose our project time base frame rate. In our case, it's 23.98 frames per second. Since the ARIA Alexa internally syncs to the external timecode when working in regen mode, we can switch off the sync generator on the locket to save battery. Since we're using the C-Jam mode, the ACN is already enabled and working per factory default on channel 18. If for some reason you want to work on a different channel, or use some of the features in the extended menu, jump into the ACN menu and set up the ACN network as required. Finally, we need to jam sync our locket boxes. This can be done the old way via cable from our timecode master source if you're using the internal timecode mode. Of course, you should make sure that the source is jammed correctly first. Note that if you're using a bi-directional cable, like the TC in out, you will need to go back to the TC menu, go to Jam, and then choose Once. Otherwise, the camera might re-jam the locket once they are connected. With Continuous Jam, you can use any ACN device as Timecode Master. As you get started, simply jam the master or manually edit the start timecode. Then go to the ACN menu, jump to the Sync menu, and start the C-Jam broadcast. You'll get immediate feedback on how many ACN devices were jammed successfully. Although you can use any ACN device's master, we want to use the master locket to wirelessly jam sync all units. Thanks to the web interface, this device offers powerful visual feedback and direct control of all ACN devices in our network. To access the web interface, open the browser of any device connected to the Wi-Fi of the master and go to the domain masterlocket.local or 10.0.0.1. Now go to the timecode tab and change the frame rate of the unit to the project time base by clicking the pencil and choosing from the drop-down menu and apply. Type in the required start value or simply use the time of day from your device. Check to make sure the master is set to the same ACN channel as the other locket devices, and then hit the Start CJAM button. Within a few seconds, all your ACN devices should appear green on the screen, ready for naming, and displaying the battery status and current frame rate. Last but not least, connect the locket to the Alexa camera. The timecode to display X for external, along with the external frame rate, and start running. When your system is synced like this, your cameras will run for an entire shooting day without drift. Additionally, we strongly recommend that you check the synchronization of your system to avoid any issues.